Moving right along, hooking a website up to Bing and Google, we are on to Bing Webmaster Tools. So let's hop right into it. So I'm on Google, ironically, but we're gonna type in Bing uh, Webmaster Tools. Boom, right here. Go to the site, okay, so I'm already logged in blah 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 got the sites that I already have in here in here okay but uh, we're gonna you know set up our new site so this is the site right here ecmlawns.com is the site we are working on so I type that URL in right there and then I will need my site map so I'll grab my site map and Bing wants the full site map with everything so voila add and now it will present us with our site verification. So I'm gonna come back into my head section of my website, uh, which since I'm on Divi, it's right here. And I'm gonna comment out and say, start, uh, start being web master tools. And then we're gonna end being web master tools. So we'll end it, and our code will go in between our comments. So I'll take this code snippet right here, and paste that in here, get rid of these extra spaces, cause being so janky, and that's that. So I click save, and now we will see if Bing has picked up on that yet. So I'll just go ahead and refresh, Make sure it's still in there. So should be good to go, but it's Bing and they're a little slow, so you never know. So we'll click verify and it worked. So um, we have essentially connected our site to Bing Web Webmaster Tools. Like I said, there's not a whole lot uh, to this stuff, but you have to know how to do it, where to go, what to do, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna geotarget the whole domain to Africa no, to the United States so there we go submit okay boom the other thing you want to do in here is submit URLs for some reason they only let you submit 10 a day so I'm just gonna go like this so I can copy and paste all my URLs in here and I will start with the home page so I have all of my uh, pages over here so I just opened up all the pages in these tabs over here so I'm just gonna grab all these and copy and paste them in it says one per line so you just follow the instructions and this is really all there is to it just copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste and that's it so I'm getting the 10 uh, essentially most important pages and I'll have to come back and put 10 more in tomorrow because Bing doesn't want you to do your job apparently. So there we go, that's 10, submit, and I can do no more today. And that is literally it for setting up <laughs> Bing uh, Webmaster Tools. <laughs> so uh, that's it, like there, there's nothing else to it, we'll need to come back in and uh, add, add the additional URLs and then Bing has some uh, tools and stuff that Google uh, Search Console and Analytics don't so it's a good idea to hook it up and then you can reference this data for farther insight as you optimize your website to rank better over time um, you know once again it's free you saw how fast that it worked see we got an SEO analyzer here uh, so there's all different kinds of things in here that you can play around with and whatnot, but why, why would you not do this? You know what I mean? This is literally n number two search engine. I'm not an Apple guy, but I believe like Apple products default to searching on Bing. So, you know, the Apple user does not change that to Google or Safari or Firefox or whatever uh, they're gonna change it to. Um, you know, they're, they're searching on Bing and they're getting all this data uh, Bing is in cahoots with Yelp so definitely uh, complete your Yelp profile and all that kind of stuff and whenever you're filling out 
any of this stuff like being uh, webmasters and search console and analytics they don't really apply but like Bing places Yelp Google my business these are like your super duper key citation directory sites and you want to get at least a handful of these uh, the what I would recommend is do a Google search in your area and see what they are so if I I put in a uh, lawn care company Cincinnati and I scroll down through these results right here Wow look at this WCPO so that's crazy so I need to reach out to WCPO um, but here you go Angie's list so that's one home advisor hate home advisor but uh, still if you can get a free listing on home advisor you definitely should you know lawn starters one of these whatever uber for lawn care whatever these are so is green pal um i'm not sure what that is but there's yelp uh i'm not sure what lawn love is but man they're big around here and i'm thinking they're another like uber for lawn care type deal so come on down uh holy crap my pure lawn um but oh there's cme look at cme ranking oh man uh, so yeah, so you come and just find a lot of times you'll see a lot more. So there's BBB is another one um, You know indeeds for like searching for jobs and stuff But you know if you can make a listing on there, why not? But all this kind of stuff. So this is is what you want to do go look in here for them another great resource for this is uh, white spark so if you go uh, white spark um, citations by category and come in here and then yeah I'm gonna do the US and then I could do like control F and go like lawn so lawn services and then here are the best citations for lawn services so Thumbtack, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, Yelp, Angie's List, BBB, Monta, Porch, Facebook, Super Pages, House. Like you essentially want to get, you know, almost every single one of these, if not every single one of these. So definitely um, think about this kind of stuff. Nextdoor is another really, really big one. Nextdoor is free and it's huge. So if you are like active on Nextdoor, you will get a ton of business out of it. But any any time you start making these directory listings, you want to make sure to keep your NAP consistent. So that's your NAP, uh, name, address, phone, and that should extend to like business hours and stuff like this that should not really change much or at all for a business. You know, obviously a chain, a phone number could change. Maybe you move location, stuff like this. But if that does happen, you really need to update all of your information on every single directory listing site that you have so you should just have like a spreadsheet where you have all these you can reference them and quickly update them because if you have uh conflicting information say on like um you know say your website and google my business say your hours are eight to five and you have you know seven to four or something on facebook like that doesn't make sense like why would you have different hours showing on different places and then Google's like well I don't want to show you know this business is being open right now because we see that they are stating they're open at different times over here so we're going to default to not showing them at all so we don't serve incorrect information to the people searching on our platform which may lead them to want to search on Bing or something like that right so think about you know the search engines want to provide value to their uh, the people searching on their platform by serving them accurate information so make sure all your information is accurate so that's just a little bonus on the search console video because or the the Bing webmaster tools video because it was so short uh, but that's that uh, if you like the video please remember to like it if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button and if you have any questions leave a question in the comment and I will get right on answering it and until the next video, you already know, keep making money.